Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Dr. Abdul Adamu from Data Analytica. In this lecture, we are going to look at how to select a research topic. This is part of our lecture series on research. So this presentation will tell you what a research topic is, their importance, what are their characteristics, and some of the steps that you should follow when you want to choose a research topic. First, what is the definition of a research topic? A research topic is the subject or theme that a researcher wishes to study and explore in depth. So that subject or theme in your field that you wishes to study in depth is a research topic. It normally arises from our intellectual quest for knowledge or problem we wishes to solve or an opportunity to improve some aspect of the society or the world. Why is research topic important? A clear research topic is important because it is easier to plan, conduct, and communicate our research findings. So without, without which uh, a researcher is likely to become lost in their research, wasting their time and resources and potentially missing valuable insight. So research topic is quite different from a research question. Research topic is broader than research question because a research question is a specific inquiry within a broad research topic. So a research topic is typically more general and can include res several research questions or hypotheses. What are the characteristics of a good research topic? So a good research topic must possess four characteristics and the four characteristics are focus. So it should be narrow and specific and this will allow the researcher to focus on a manageable amount of information rather than getting bogged down in too many details. So a research topic should be focused. Another characteristic is relevant. A good research topic should be relevant to the field of study. You cannot be a student of finance, for instance, and you want to do your research in chemistry. So that is not relevant to your field of study. So it should be based on current knowledge uh, on an issue of significant importance in the researcher's opinion. Another characteristic is feasibility. Whatever research topic you pick should be feasible, taking into account your resources, your skills, and the time that you require to conduct the research. So the scope should, be, should not be too wide that it, should, it, will, it will become difficult for you to achieve your objective. And the final characteristic is originality. So a good research topic should be original. It shouldn't be a copy work. So and it should add to existing knowledge in the field. It should extend previous research or challenges, establish findings. So some of the sources of research topics are one, personal interest and experiences. Uh, think about what you are passionate about, what you enjoy learning or doing, and what puzzles you. Your personal experience can provide you with insight and idea for research. Whenever you are lost and you are doing research, maybe during your presentation in conferences or during your Viva, if the topic emanated from your personal interest, you will be able to defend the topic and go out of it. Then also, one source is the literature review. You read relevant literature on the topic of interest, including academic journals, books, government reports, and conference proceedings. So pay attention to research gaps in those literature you are reading, the research problems and questions raised in those literature. Another source is networking. You connect with your peers mentors, experts, and practitioners in your field. This is when you attend conferences, workshops, and seminars, you learn about new research trends, contemporary 
ideas and perspectives in your field of study. Then consulting with library staff, ask librarians for assistance in finding resources, searching databases and identifying possible research topics. Librarians are experts in information literacy, research methodologies and trends. What do you consider when choosing a research topic? There are three factors to consider when choosing a research topic. The first one is resources. So you should select research topics that you have the resources to manage. These resources include data, availability of data, tools that are needed for carrying out the research, the software to efficiently collect and analyze your data. Another factor is the expertise, your expertise, the researcher's expertise. Choose a research topic that align with your knowledge, skills and experiences. So if you select topics, your knowledge in it is not wide enough or you don't have the skill to carry it out, then it will become a problem for you. You don't have to be an expert, but it is helpful to have a good foundation in the area you are researching. Time frame. Choose a research topic that can be completed within a reasonable time frame. Avoid the possibility of rushing to complete or changing halfway through research topic. So you should take into consideration the time frame you have to complete the research. Let me pause here and tell you that if you want to learn more about research and other productivity tools for research, you want to learn about finance, mental mathematics, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel at Data Analytica. So you type Data Analytica, this is my logo. So this is the first lecture that I cover. You can try to watch it because it will give you a good understanding of this topic that we are covering. These are other videos on tools that can assist you in your research. I have covered chat GPT, which I am going to show you later in this video how you can use it to generate research topic. I have done something on mental mathematics or finance. I have videos also on Mendeley, Zotero, Mendeley, online reference generator, literature review, Skyhawk, and all these videos are very important for researchers and academics. So let's continue. With. We have like eight steps that you should follow when you are choosing a research topic. The first step is you should consider your program requirements. So if you are conducting the research as part of the requirement for a program you are undertaking, there are definitely requirements for that program. So program requirement includes issue of deadlines. There are deadlines for you to submit your dissertation or thesis. You identify those deadlines. Then issue of word count. Some thesis say it shouldn't be more than 10,000 words, 20,000 words. So determine the minimum and maximum word count for your dissertation. Another factor is academic or professional orientation. Determine if your research will have an academic or professional orientation depending on why you are doing the research. You should consider that. And methodological conditions. Identify any condition, methodological condition such as field work or specific type of sources that you need in your research. The second step is brainstorming. So by brainstorming, you can do either mind mapping, free writing or concept mapping. By mind mapping, you create a visual map of ideas and concepts related to your research interest. You visualize your research interest in your mind. Then free writing, write down all your ideas without worrying about structure or coherence. So you start writing, write whatever idea you have, keep note of it and write it down. Concept mapping. Create a hierarchical diagram of concept and their relationship. So if you are in marketing, for instance, and your work is in social media marketing and pushes intention. So social media marketing is your concept. 
pushes intention is another of your concepts. So draw diagrams that connect this concept and how they are related. Then what are the proxies to measure your variables? Also try to map this concept out. Then the third one is personal interest. Like I mentioned earlier, you select the topic that align with your personal interests and passions because this will keep you going even if you have the reason to backtrack because it is your interest and passion it will keep you going it will also help you to stay motivated and engaged throughout the research process and it will also make the research more enjoyable and fulfilling since you are pursuing your passion and your interest the fourth step is you should research existing literature like i mentioned earlier identify exciting new areas explore existing literature in your field to uncover exciting new areas and topics refine your research questions by the time you do literature review use what you learn to refine and improve your research questions and methodology then avoid duplication that is the works that have been done earlier do not repeat them ensure your work is original and impactful and avoid duplicating existing research so do not just take a research and try to copy it verbatim narrow down your idea that is the fifth step so the strategies here is you can use topic matrix create a matrix of potential topics and evaluate them based on various criteria so write down all the topics potential topics that you, you have seen from your literature review from your interest and evaluate them then do SWOT analysis do uh, conduct a SWOT analysis to identify the strengths of the topics you have identified the weaknesses opportunities in them and threats of potential topics also consult with peers and professional seek feedback from your peers on whatever topics that you have selected from your professors supervisors and professionals in the field this will refine and improve your ideas. The sixth step is seek for feedback. Feedbacks will have a lot of benefit like it will help you to refine and improve your topic and it will also help you to identify gaps. Also help you identify potential research gaps and areas of interest. Insight and perspective. Feedback from peers and prof professionals and professionals in your field can provide valuable insight and perspectives. It is important you consider ethical uh, ethics in your research topic. Consider the ethical implication of your topic. Identify any potential ethical issues that may arise in your research area. So it should not create harm to people and it should not expose the subject of your research. Ensure your research is conducted in an ethical and uh, responsible manner and the eighth and last step is the issue of feasibility so if you select research that research will be specific and focused ensure that your research question is specific and focused select research topic that is feasible and giving your time resources and access to data and consider the potential limitations and challenges of your research topics so what are the common mistakes that we do when we select research the first one is when you select a topic that is too broad or too narrow select topic that is specific and focused your topic should not be too broad for instance you are a human resource management major and you select a topic that says the impact of human resources on organizational performance Studying the whole of human resources is too broad. Select a topic that is specific and focused. So you can decide to look at the uh, effect of uh, employee motivation on organizational performance. That is specific. Second mistake people do is when they ignore the requirements of their program. So you should check your program requirement before choosing a topic. So you can select a topic and it does not meet the program requirement. So the exercise will be in futility. The fourth mistake is when you neglect to review existing literature. So whatever topic you selected, ensure that there are existing literature in your choosing field to identify potential recycle by area of interest. 
and the last mistake is failing to consider personal interest they just give you topic or you see topic and say i will do the work in that area so and the topic does not align with your your personal interest and passion so there will be a problem if you want to give up we have examples of research topics in health we can have topics like influence of diet on mental health so you can see this topic is specific enough so these are some example in health this are example in technology artificial intelligence and the future of work then example in education and from the management side these are example in marketing so for service marketing for instance we have service quality and customer satisfaction these are specific and not enough we have service delivery and customer experience management so these are some examples. I want to show us briefly how we can leverage on technology to generate our research topic. You see, technology has revolutionized the way we approach research from data mining and text analysis to machine learning and artificial intelligence. So technology can help us to identify new research problems and generate unique insight. So I want to use GPT chat gpt to demonstrate how we can select a research uh, question let me go to my gpt here i want to generate topics in service marketing so i will create my prompt just contemporary research topics in service marketing so it's suggesting the topics suggested 10 contemporary topics in service marketing. Here we have the impact of technology on service quality and customer satisfaction in the hospitality industry, the role of customer experience in building brand quality in the financial service sector, the effectiveness of personalized marketing, the influence of cultural factors. So some of the topics are impact of something on something, influence of something on something. So if you want to be specific, to tell it, uh, it should be effect of something or something, you can give it a prompt like that. Let me modify my prompt. So just contemporary research topic in service marketing in the form of effect of dash dash on dash dash. So it has suggested 10 research topics in this area, effect of service customization on customer loyalty as a very specific social media marketing on customer engagement in the banking sector effect of employee empowerment on service quality take it further from here you can copy this topic i pick topic number two and i'm asking chat gpt to provide specific objective using the component of social media marketing so the social media marketing here is the independent variable. So we want to use the component. So click. So if you look at it now, you can check that here effect of social media content. That is one component of social media marketing. Social media advertising, another component. Social media influencer marketing. Social media community management, social media customer service. We have five. The other one, we have social media listening and monitoring. That is another variable. I think with this, you have headway. You can see how I have leverage on technology, technology to generate this topic. I identify spe specific area in marketing. Marketing is broad. The specific area is uh, service marketing. I'll use chat GPT now to generate topics. So this, I can start my work. In conclusion, a good research topic is the foundation of any successful research project. By allowing the characteristics of a good research topic and carefully considering what sources to use when brainstorming, researcher can ensure that their work is focused, achievable, and valuable to academic and professional community.
We have covered research topic in this uh, presentation, their importance and how to choose a good research topic. We have also looked at characteristics of a good research topic and some of the mistakes we should avoid and some consideration when choosing a research topic. We have also demonstrated how you can generate research topic if you have your interest and the specific area you want to research on by leveraging on technology like chat gpt to generate some start research topic and how you can also even come up with your research object objective in it so thank you if you enjoyed this lecture i implore you to subscribe to our youtube channel this is the youtube channel data analytica and we provide tutorials on a lot of things in research tools that can make our work easier thank you for listening mm -hmm.